and welcome to DIY Fidget Toys. My name is Kai, and I would like to begin by acknowledging that we are on Treaty 6 territory, the traditional homeland of the Métis. Now, today, we are going to be making slime. Now, this is lots of fun because you can add cool things like glitter or foam balls to make it a little different. Today, we are going to do glitter and food coloring to make it kind of special. To begin with, you are going to need something to mix your slime in. Then you're going to need some glue, some contact solution, and some baking soda. For the glue, you are going to need about half a cup. So I've got a measuring cup here, and we will start by measuring this out. Oop. Okay, so there's a half a cup of glue we're going to put into our container. And I like to use popsicle sticks to mix with because they are easy and I have lots of them around. Okay, so once you've got that in there, you can set your measuring cup aside and we're going to grab our baking soda. For this, you're gonna need about half a tablespoon up to a tablespoon. It really depends on how firm you want your slime. So I've got about half a tablespoon there, and I'm going to sprinkle that in. And then we're going to mix it up. We want to get that in there nice and smooth. And once we've got that mixed up, we can add our food coloring. So I've got food coloring here, and you can use whatever you've got at home. Or clear or white glue works fine. It looks really cool just on its own. Or you can use clear glue or glitter glue. It all kind of has its own different unique properties to it. So for this one, whoops, I wanted blue. We're gonna do blue. So a couple drops of that to see. And it's important to get your color right at this step because after this, it gets a little bit harder to mix that color in. That's a pretty cool blue, nice and bright. Okay, so we've got that in. Then, you're going to add your glitter. Or if you have styrofoam balls, this would be the point to mix it in as well. So I have some glitter. I'm gonna use some pink sparkles. Get a few of those in. Some white sparkles. And those are kind of fun. They kind of match what's going on around them. Sprinkle. And I have some blue. Even though my slime is going to be blue, I want to put some blue sparkles in there too. Okay. That might be enough, we'll see. Let's mix it up and see. I can already tell I need to add more. I don't know if you can ever have too much glitter going on, especially in these fun colors. Lots of pink, that's a pretty pink. Some more of the white. Yeah, 
and just a dash more blue. And we'll stir that in. Awesome. That looks like there's lots of glittery sparkles in there. Okay, so we've done the hard part. Now we're going to take a tablespoon of contact solution. And that tablespoon's going in. And this is what's going to react with the glue to help make the slime. And you just start stirring and already you can see that it's starting to make the slime. So you can stir that with your popsicle stick or your spoon. But it gets to a point where the best thing you can use to mix it is your fingers. So you get in there. It's going to be really sticky because it is glue, but the more you work that contact solution in, the less sticky it's going to be. And that's what the contact solution does, is it helps with the stickiness. So if it's still, after mixing for a little while, still really sticky, you can go ahead and add a little bit more contact solution, but just do a couple drops at a time. Otherwise, you might overdo it. But if that happens, you can always go ahead and add a little bit more glue to counteract the over overuse of the contact solution. There we go. And you just knead that together until you get what you like. And you can go back in and try and pick up all the extra bits in here too. And you can employ your popsicle stick again. Just like that. And there you go. You have your very own DIY fidget slime.